I've decided to video record this process. Um, I'm going to go on from taking a fleece from a sheep. I got this fleece in the local farmer's market uh, for $10. So I've uh, been contemplating spitting my own wool for a while um, and having a handy dandy fleece available this morning, I decided to go for it. So I bought the fleece and I got home and weighed it, so it's six pounds of wool. And um, right now, the first thing I have to do is clean it. So I've been uh, separating it into little clumps, just you know, pulling it off and making sure, trying to get as much of the uh, what would you call these little sharp bits of plant matter and stuff that are stuck in there. So I pulled them out, but it's, I mean, mostly clean. There's not a whole lot of that. So it's just finding the natural points where I can separate the fleece into bits, and I'm going to put it, I have my whole assortment of sweater bags here, I'm going to put it into sweater bags to wash it, um, which will help keep the wool from getting felted during the cleaning process. So I'm going to get to work and see how much of this will fit in my sweater bags. I've now separated out uh, three and a half bags so far. Um, I guess it's taken me a little over a half an hour to, to do this. I've been going into the kitchen when the bags get close to full and weighing them so they each contain eight ounces of wool. I just, um, just for my own use so I can kind of keep track of the process and everything. I've never done this before. So this is not like if you found this video on YouTube, some wool expert is teaching you how to do this. I am doing this on a lark. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I read a couple pages on the internet and, you know, I'm just going for it. Uh, you know, I was going to stop after two bags, but then it's like, ah, you know, just one more bag. And it's kind of, it's growing on me because this wool, it's like, it doesn't look necessarily that appealing, but it's just there are parts of it that are so soft and fluffy and, you know, pulling them up, you just gotta, you know, take a bit. And, you now it's hard to do this with a camera. Let's see if I can. And just pull. Ah! <laughs> it is hard to capture and pull one hand. But you just pull it off and it's fluffy like a little, you know, a woolen cloud. And, uh, it does smell a little sheepy, but the sheepy smell is is also growing on me. Um, you know, it's like you're you're doing something with a pet, except that you know the sheep it's itself is not here. I've just got the sheep's wool, um, but it's kind of a similar feel. It's uh, kind of bizarre. I've never done anything like this, and uh, so far it's growing on me. So, you know, part of me wants to call up the farmer and say, "Okay, let me take the other two uh, fleeces you have, you know, quick while well, I still have enthusiasm for this. Um, but, you know, I'll stick with one and see how it goes. I want to document this process all the way from fleece to, you know, knitted garment, um, which could take a while, you know. I, I don't know whether it's going to take me a couple weeks or a couple months or a couple years. Um, you know, my enthusiasm is fickle. So we'll see how, how long my speed keeps up on this. All right, I've got an even two pounds um, from the six pound fleece ready for washing. And I just have a small little pile of waste accumulated. Uh, I've been able to use most of the fleece. It's just, you know, I pick out these little, uh, you know, chigger things and any particularly dirty bits and leave them. But, you know, if there's a little mud or a little dirt or whatever on the fleece, it'll all wash out. So, um, you know, it's all going in. There's some parts, you know, big clumps I'm setting aside for later. But a lot of it, especially towards the back, is really clean and goes through really quickly. I've got my bags on the table and I've cleaned up the fleece, rolled it up. And I have it hanging just so my uh, cat doesn't get into it too much. I'm afraid it would, with the smell of the sheep and everything, it would be too intriguing and the cat would be in there and tear it up and get all cat fur in it and I don't know what else he'd do. But at any rate, so it's hanging up waiting to be cleaned and washed later.